What is up, gamers? Welcome back to my channel. How are we doing today? Uh, I got a little video. We're going to do a little video. Uh, so, in my ever-growing ambition and journey into the realm of minimal software, I've been slowly chipping away at the useless apps in my life and replacing them with GNU core utility stuff and scripting and other sorts of wizard spells that I like to cast upon Arch Linux. And I have knocked a few things out I'll make videos about, but the first video is we're going to talk about fetch programs. Woo, fetch programs. You go on, you go on Reddit r slash unix porn they got the they got hyperland every screenshot of hyperland you could ever see every single one of them's got fast fetch in it or neo fetch or one of those things right do you really need it the question is do you need, and are you are you like screwing yourself out of an opportunity to learn something to learn something and to Make something a little more boutique, a little more customized for your own personal situation. So when you're down at the card shop playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Or, or you're in, in, in the library at your college and you whip out your ThinkPad and you got this cool ass crap and then people are just like, bro, Hacker Man over here, right? Boutique setup stuff. This is what we're talking about. All right. So what realistically, when we, when we go and we go, like I got Fast Fester on here, right? If I do fast fetch, like what what is this here? When you look into it, it's like, okay, it's telling me what OS I'm on, it's telling me the kernel, okay, sure, uptime, great, packages, blah blah blah, all this stuff. That's all fine and dandy. But like I don't feel like I need a program for all this. Like uh, I don't know, I just feel like you just don't need a program. Like, oh, uptime, uh pretty, right? There you go. I got my uptime. Nine minutes. I just restarted. Right? So, like, it just it just doesn't feel like you need a program for that. So, I made this. Bada boom, bada bing. There's my fetch. Customizable. By your boy. All right. There's a few caveats to this that we'll talk about real quick before I get into what's going on here. First of all, image render rendering in the terminal. You're going to need something that renders images in the terminal. Most do. Some don't. Um... I know with like stuff like ST you gotta patch it in. With other things you gotta you gotta download a separate thing to run. But in at the end of the day, you're gonna be able to do that. And then also being able to render the emojis. So most modern terminals are able to render the emojis. You might need an add-on. There you go. Caveats covered. Now look at what we got here. I got a lot of stuff. I got the username, I got my host. You know what processor i have using uh the gpu some of this stuff is is a little bit of wizardry that is very machine specific but i'll get into that so okay let's let's like uh let's look at the script right um i called it uh dank fetch <laughs> dot sh right so he, here's the script pretty simple um so just normal bash script I'll kind of explain as it goes down. Um, I'll have this open just so I can point to it. So this little empty space, this is just giving me this gap. Otherwise, it kind of looks a little weird. And yeah. So kitten, iCat, a line left, and then a path to your a picture, right? So I have this picture in a folder called Assets. And it just calls upon that and it renders it in the terminal. Now, you can do a bunch of stuff with the alignment and placement. You could have it in the background of something and uh, what have you. Let me just look at the thing. There's a lot of uh, cool abilities you can do with it. This is where you would find it in, in the documentation. But yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, a lot of cool stuff you can do with it. There's scaling. Yeah, you can you can mirror stuff. You can do like a little. Uh, where's the funky shit? Oh, my brain is so melted right now. I just got out of work. 
anyway, you know, you can do a bunch of cool stuff with the images for that. And this, so that's how that's how we get our little picture. This is a picture I made in GIMP. It is obviously Tux uh, puffing on a fatty. You know what I'm saying? Chilling with with his little you know assault platform and uh, yeah, uh, pretty sweet. Okay, let's go down there. So let's go down to the next one. So Echo. Oh, I will say this too. I tried this with Print F and it just didn't work right. So this is this is we're using Echo. <laughs> okay so the way that i have this set out it's like the emojis are all coming from my little emoji thing they're standard emojis you could go on emojipedia and you can copy and paste them into here very very simple these little uh symbol boys right here this is nerd font stuff so if i go i have a shortcut this right here you want to look for this nerd font cheat sheet and this allows you to look up anything you want that's in there so like you can just type some stuff in like if i do six feet like they have a social dis distancing <laughs> but yeah so you can look up whatever you want like i don't know oh sick oh look now i got a little sick boy uh ew why we, ew um you know uh wait do, we, do they have a ghost one oh yeah they got some ghost ones look at that so you can just look these up and then you copy the icon right here and then paste it into here where you want it, right? So I, got, I even got a little candle leaf right there. That's pretty cool. But yeah, so this is just who am I, right? So who am I? Bang. Thanks. So that, that's how you get that right there. So the next one's going to be the host. So you name minus N. These are all super uh, basic, like, first week in the core utils. This is the stuff you learn, right? processor this is where this is gets a little a little hairy because you know i had to do some stuff so ls cpu right so ls cpu you get all this information this is a lot of stuff right so how do we cut cut down the the fat on this right uh we're gonna grep it and we grep the model name right so where are the model name right here this little bad boy right here and then I oct and I printed, you know, it's like money sign print two thing. And then so it grabs this I7477 blah, blah, blah. So that's how you do that. Um, same kind of idea with uh, this OS. You're doing uh, this LSB release minus A. And then I'm grepping it and then we're awking for the actual information that i want so you know actually i don't need to show that you know you guys get it and then we go down to uh kernel you name minus r uh this one right here is kind of this me looking up the window manager is kind of what led to me being able to write all the other ones uh so this is like wm control minus m which is i didn't know this existed Right, what is it? Right, W M control minus M. Right. Oh, did I did I spell it wrong? I think I spelt it wrong. Oh yeah, there's no N. I didn't know this existed, but yeah. So it'll tell you that, and then you can awk it, and then bang, you have that. Oop. <laughs> Oops. So yeah, so that's the window manager and then packages. This is like your normal Pac-Man minus Q. Oh yeah, by the way, this is gonna work for on Arch Linux, but this same ideas you can apply to, to whatever, right? So like each each you know different machine has a different way of looking at stuff. You could apply this to Windows, you could apply this to Mac OS, you know. So just keep that in mind. Like this isn't only Arch, but this is one that's geared towards Arch, right? So yeah, you know, this is the only one, uh, this next one's the only one that I haven't figured out a fancy way of getting my current font. Uh, they have this one, it's a FC match, but it says this thing, uh, paranar.tt, and when I look it up, it's some, um, like, I think it's like Bangladeshi or something like that. It's some weird, not English language, right? So I don't know what's going on with that because I'm using the this. So if I go into my fonts thing, so this is the fonts extension to Kitty. It allows you to view. But yeah, as you, as you see, this is IBM, 
3270. So I don't know why that's not working. So I have this just typed in. Shoot me, you know. <laughs> okay, and I just also realized I don't need this quote thing here, but well, actually, no, I do need it. It's correct. Never mind. So yeah, uptime pretty. We showed that one. Uh, the CPU, these two commands, I did not write myself. I found these. Um, yeah, this is a little little freaky to me. The first one, I, I understand what's going on here to a certain extent. However, this awk is crazy. Like, I don't... That, this is moon runes. <laughs> uh, but yeah, these two, yeah, I'm pretty sure these work on basically everything. So you can just pause the video and copy those. In fact, pause the video and feel, feel free to copy any of these. Uh, yeah, they're pretty useful. So yeah, then storage, this is like DF command, awking, and then, you know, I have these kind of things for my folders, uh, my picture, video, music, and documents. This is really easy. You can just put whatever path to whatever folder you want. Um, and yeah, and that's like the, the, the entirety of this script. I leave a little extra little space at the bottom just for a little padding on it. So when I go boom, it looks awesome, right? Awesome. And there's way more, um, what you call it, options you can do here too. Like if I was on a laptop, there's a, what is it? Is it ACPI? Is that what it is? Yeah, ACPI, ACPI minus B. If I was on a laptop, I would have that in there too. And then that would tell me what's going on with the battery. You know what I mean? And you can also have like network stuff in there. Like if you wanted to look, have your up and down print out like that, like you can literally add anything you want to it. And then, and like I said, when you show up at the card shop and you're like, oh, check out my new, my terminal guys. And then you, oh, they're like, what are you running? Oh, hold on. And then you're like, bam, oh, maybe not three Fs. And you're like, bam, look, the fast fetch. Oh, yeah, and by the way, uh, I just have that script set up to an alias, too. I should say that. So that's how, yeah, that's a script. That's the thing. Sweet. Um, Hold on. I need a little sip. A little swig of the good stuff. Nectar of the gods. Mmm. That Baja. Woo, so good. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video. This is a little quick, quick bad boy I wanted to throw up. Um, yeah, I'm going to do some more of these. We're going to try to replace some stuff on the machine so I'm not using all sorts of bloaty, bulky stuff anymore. There's a couple things I have ideas for that that's going to be very cool. We're going to do some wizard stuff with like S FCF and whatever. Um, yeah. Yo, so if you like the video, please like, comment, share, subscribe, do all the cool things. I have a Discord server. The link is on the video. It's going to be in the description and in the pin, pin comments. Wherever you need to click on it, go ahead. Feel free to click on it. We got nerds in there. We talk about nerdy things. You know what I mean? Obviously, there's some some interesting stuff happening lately to talk about. So we've had some cool cool little conversations. Uh, also, um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, Rune, more RuneScape streaming is going to be coming up because I'm a nerd. I've been playing a ton of RuneScape and yeah, I might as well do it on stream so I could at least get my watch time up. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. All right. Thanks for watching the video. I'll check you guys later. I hope you guys all have a good night. Peace out.